How's it going guys? Welcome to another painting tutorial. This time I decided to paint a high fleet behemoth tyranid. I really enjoyed painting this tutorial. I think the miniature really stands out and I hope you like it too. Please uh, like, comment and subscribe if you find this tutorial helpful. And remember that you can find me on Facebook if you would like to talk to me. I hope you like this tutorial. I'm going to start with the primed black miniature that I used uh, the Vallejo surface primer and I'm going to start base coating with corn red all of the uh, skin areas because I wanted to go with a very dark scheme I try to use a uh, very darkest uh, primer and very darkest colors also in this tutorial I didn't use any type of glazing layers like in my other tutorials I only used uh, all my paints then one to one with just water and on most of the cases I just feathered the paint to uh, give it a blended look but it is not really a blend it's just uh, feathering the edges of the paint remember to thin down your base coats and uh, yes for the next step I'm using Stegadon Scale Green and this color I'm using it to paint all the carapace areas of the Tyranid these are very simple steps just use the base coat brush in my case I'm using a Kalinsky number no. 2 brush it's an excellent brush for miniature painting it holds a very nice tip you can also do uh, fine details with it because of the very very fine tip that it forms I recommend it 100% Next I'm going to use model color black or Abaddon black if you have it and I'm going to use this one to clean up the places where I want to be black which will be the sights and uh, all of the claws and the hooves. Next, I'm going to use Sandry Dust, and this color I'm going to use it to paint the teeth. Now that all of the base coats are done, I'm going to use Known Oil, and I'm going to cover the whole miniature with it. Now because we're doing Tyranids, it might be a good idea to just uh, wash the whole miniature and give just one highlight, probably at most, if you're going to paint a lot of these guys. But I'm going to take this uh, as far as I can to make it look uh, good. And uh, hopefully it is useful for you to paint any other ki kind of uh, HQs and other types of Tyranid. Uh, monsters with this uh, tutorial. Next I'm going to use the model color black again and I'm going to paint all of the places where the joints meet and all of, of the fleshy parts that are in between the uh, the skin of the Tyranid. Uh, I could have done this before the wash I just forgot so I did it afterwards but it's the same thing. Next, I'm going to clean up the red parts with corn red. And this is the same as the first step, but I'm just uh, picking up the highest places, leaving the shadows on the previous color. Just leave the shadows and deepest recesses on the darkest red color and start coloring in all of the red again. After that, I'm going to go ahead with Stegadon Scale Green again, and I'm going to color in the carapace. 
just leaving the uh, deepest recesses on the darkest color and uh, kind of feathering out the color from the shadows to the uh, outer parts. As you can see on this tutorial, I didn't go for a very, very vibrant red and blue colors like on other places that you see this uh, color scheme. I went for a very dark and kind of natural flesh color on the red. Uh, and for that reason I'm using here the Buckman's Glow. And this color I'm using it as a highlight. I'm just placing it over the top of the most exposed parts to light and all of the edges that you can find. And it, do, it does look kind of odd at first because there's it's a very different color from the red. But it does look pretty good and uh, if you would like to paint a miniature with much more uh, detail or better quality you probably should try to layer it with uh, thinner paint so that you can have a nice transition. But because I'm doing just a regular turn it, I'm not worrying, worrying about that too much. Just try to think of it as uh, where do you like bounces of the miniature, as where do you like reflex of the skin and uh, try to highlight those areas. If you're not comfortable with the result, you can always go back with the uh, corn red to fix the places that you painted over with uh, Buckman's Glow and uh, that's it. Now I'm using the Cadian Flesh Stone to kind of pop out a little bit more some details on the skin. Just try to pick the highest places of the skin and, uh, and the places that stand out more in this miniature the pointy bits of the skin. Next, now that that's done, I'm going to use Sotek Green and I'm going to start uh, layering this color on the carapace. Just try to focus your paint into the uh, edges, the other edges of the carapace and try to feather it in with, uh, it's almost like a dry brush, just leaving little streaks, streaks of paint with the tip of the brush to make them look like they're blended together. And that's it. And next I'm going to use Lothern Blue and with this color I'm going to etch highlight all of the edges of the carapace. For edge highlighting a fine detail brush will help very much. Try to use the side of the brush and uh, if you have flow improver that would really help. Also if you have a wet palette uh, that would be perfect. Now that that's done, I'm going to highlight the uh, black parts. For that I'm going to use first Skaven Black Dinch and I'm going to use it all over the black areas uh, towards the pointy parts of the claws or sights or hooves. I don't know what these things are but they appear to be that. Next, I'm going to build up the highlight with Storm Bearman Fur. And I'm going to paint the same parts, but just uh, towards the uh, lower parts of the 
first highlight, just leaving uh, about half of the previous highlight showing. And to finish it off, I'm going to use uh, Administratum Gray. In this color, I'm going to use to paint the very tip of these areas. Also, to edge highlight the uh, places where you can, uh, where you see a large area like this sites on the front part. You can just uh, edge highlight in the edges. Next, I'm going to use White Scar and this color I'm going to use to paint the teeth. Just use a fine brush and try to have very minimal amount of paint on the tip and try to pick up all of the teeth of the miniature. And to finish it off, I'm going to use Aerial Yellow. And this color, I'm going to use it to paint the eyes. And this is the finished model. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I hope it uh, was informative and helpful for you. I really had fun painting this model. I think it really stands out on the table by itself. The very contrasting colors of the miniature really make it pop. And I think it looks pretty cool. As always, I would like to thank you very much for watching. Uh, rate, comment and subscribe if you would like to see me paint more miniatures. And let me know what you think in a comment. If you would like to talk to me, I'm on Facebook, you can find the link on the description, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much.